Hey everybody out there on YouTube, it's your girl Pamela. I just wanted to do a quick update because it's been a minute. Um, but like also a lot kind of happened to me. Um, and I didn't like <laughs> record any update in between that period. Um, so let's see first. Um, <clears throat> so originally I had my surgery, it was January the 8th. Um, and then, like, how many days later, ended up back in the hospital. My surgery had went well. I felt, um, fine. And then, like, um, my surgery was on a Wednesday. I went home the Friday, like I was supposed to. And then, actually, it might have been the same day of my last update. So, that last update, you see, that was a couple of days after that. I ended up going back to the hospital. Um, I was running temperatures for, like, two days um, like that day, that evening, like that last clip you saw, um, that afternoon I took a nap at 1.30, and when I woke up it was like 6.30, and when I woke up I felt like, yeah, run over. Um, so after that I ended up checking my temperature, when I checked my temperature, I found out that obviously it was very high, it was like 101.8 or something like that, it was very high. Um, so after checking... Uh, checking that and then realizing it, obviously it was high I figured that uh, hopefully it would go away um, and it just didn't um, it persisted for like that that evening Tuesday and um, Tuesday I talked to my surgeon my surgeon um, asked if I can come in that day but because I live so far I could not do that um so, basically, I ended up making an appointment to come back on Wednesday. And when I came into that office, the hospital was, like, right next door in Fairfax, Virginia. And they put me, right, admitted me directly from the doctor's office to the hospital. Um, they gave me a whole bunch of fluids. They said maybe it was the fluids. But come to find out, for some reason, my white blood count went to the knows that they don't know why um, I actually have my follow-up appointment on Monday um, which would be tomorrow today is Sunday so I have follow-up appointment with them and I also have a follow-up appointment prior to that with an uh, infectious disease doc that plans on I guess running some tests and whatever so they'll either when they retest me when they retest me they'll find out that it's fine or it went back up or I don't know <sighs> anyway so, after all that said and done, um, I mean, I'm much better now, as you can see. I seem fine. Um, at that time, I didn't feel good. I felt very bad. Um, I felt, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain I felt bad. But, I mean, they, um, at the hospital gave me a lot of IV fluids, they gave me bolus, they gave me everything that they could give me, um, after being in there for, like, three days, but after being in there, then... Um, like the third day when I was ready to go, I was like done with the bed and everything. Um, my temperature finally stayed normal. It was like 98.4. 98.4 kept staying uh, low, so I was happy. I was like, let me get up out of here, please. I'm not trying to be in the hospital. So, for right now, I'm doing good. That's an update, everybody. Bye for now.